My name is Kevin McRae, and my title is Deputy Commissioner of Higher Education. All right, I know that you have been working very, very long and hard behind the scenes uh, with the Montana legislature since things got started in January uh, regarding university funding and the fact that there were a couple of uh, demonstrations at Montana University System locations uh, prior to the weekend regarding tuition. So where are we uh, from the, from your perspective as a commissioner, a deputy commissioner, and uh, and where do you think we might be heading by the time things will get done with the legislative session? Thank you, Peter. Well, we are now deep into the legislative session. Uh, if, if the legislature takes its full 90 days, 90 working days, then there are two weeks left in the session. Some people are speculating that they might finish at the end of this week and, and complete their business one week early, but that remains to be seen. The good news is uh, the state budget right now, uh, House Bill 2, continues to uh, include uh, funding for colleges and universities at a level that uh, will allow us to continue providing excellent uh, programs, excellent services to Montanans and, and students across the state. There is one challenge, though. Uh, there's also a separate bill. Traditionally, it's House Bill 13, but it's the traditional bill where the legislature uh, passes and appropriates money for a state employee pay plan, basically funding for wage and salary adjustments to allow all state agencies to uh, continue recruiting and retaining capable employees to serve Montanans. We, in the appropriations process, had an agreement, kind of a three-sided agreement between the university system and the governor and our appropriations budget subcommittee early on a couple of months ago that, that basically said that if we get adequate inflationary funding in House Bill 2 to pay inflationary costs of things like library materials and utility costs and so forth, and the second piece, if there is a funded state employee pay plan, if, if, if those two conditions are met, then we should be situated such that uh, we would not have to raise tuition, not, not have to increase the price of tuition for the next two years. The challenge right now is House Bill 2 is in pretty good shape, but right now there is no state employee pay plan that has passed the legislature. There was a state employee pay bill that was tabled in the appropriations process, but a lot of people uh, believe that uh, legislators working behind the scenes by the end of this week um, may put forth some kind of appropriation for a state employee pay plan in, into the budget bill. So that's really the focus this week, that uh, if the budget bill can be enhanced this week to provide some funding that would allow the university system to uh, put towards faculty and staff some salary and wage adjustments to preserve and, and, and protect the quality of education, then we'll be in pretty good shape and would not have to uh, raise the price of tuition.